All right, topic two. Game of week 13. Tua and the Dolphins at Fred Warner and the Niners. (laughs) I bring that up because we've got an absolutely explosive offense coming into play an absolutely stingy defense. I love this game. This is like my favorite, might be my favorite game so far this year. You know, and, 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 you know, for those who don't know everything about the Niners right now, five games ago in the second half against Kansas City at home, they gave up 30 points in the second half. And, They were wounded, not mortally, because in the four games since then, the San Francisco 49ers have allowed zero second-half points. And they pitched a shutout against a team that is badly reeling but is not offensively totally moribund, and that's the New Orleans Saints. There have been four shutouts in 176 games through 12 weeks. Four. And that was the fourth one. So, Miles, I present that to you, and I want you to tell me, who has the edge going into Dolphins Niners in Santa Clara Sunday afternoon? Oh, it's tough because, I mean, it's not just... It's a tough one. It really is because, you know, Mike McDaniel and Kyle Shanahan worked together for a long time. D'Amico Ryan's... And Mike McDaniel worked together for a long time. So there's a part of me that wants to say, well, that gives the 49ers an advantage because they know exactly what kind of scheme Mike McDaniel runs. But by that same token, Mike McDaniel knows the exact same things about the San Francisco defense. And he knows exactly how good those dudes are, especially up front when you're talking about a Nick Bosa. So he knows how to necessarily manipulate things and change, you know, the defender's eye levels and where they're looking. And, you know, there's only so much you can do to counter the speed of guys like Tyreek Hill and like Jalen Waddle. So, you know, now you're dealing with a knee injury to Elijah Mitchell. Uh, Christian McCaffrey is day to day, at least as we record this on Tuesday morning. And Teron Armstead may or may not be hurt. So that's another factor in it. I, I really don't know. I mean, I, I think, and that's not a really good answer to your question, especially when we're talking about a sports podcast, right? But I, I think the, the speed of Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle might be the biggest difference. I, that's at least my instinct. But I don't really, I don't feel confident in that instinct. Well, you know, Miles, I, as I look at this game, and I've thought about it a lot in the last 24 hours, as I look at this game, I really think this is going to be a Tua coming out party. And not that he's going to put up 30 points, because I definitely don't think he will. But Mm. I've always thought that, to really be a great player in the NFL. Uh, and Tua definitely this year is showing signs of greatness. He has mm-hmm. been great, period. Yes. Yeah. But to be a great player in the NFL and to be thought of in the Pantheon, honestly, you've got to play really well against the great teams. And Patrick Mahomes put in the 40s, I think 42 up against this 49er defense. Mm-hmm. And and I think if I'm Mike McDaniel this week leading into this game, I am just thinking, hey, look, this is the greatest test we could have. We're trying to stay right up there with the Buffalo Bills atop the AFC East, and mm-hmm. this is going to be a great test uh, to be able to do to do it on the road and to do it against a great, great defense. I guess the the one thing that I'm very, very curious about is how the 49ers secondary will hold up against Waddle and Hill. Um, I know that in the middle of the field, I think they'll be fine against Kosicki and, and, you know, the intermediate stuff, but you know, that uh, Waddle and Hill is a test for that San Francisco secondary. 
Yeah, it's a test for anybody, but I, I think you're right with Fanga in the middle of that. You know, they're they're gonna be okay. I mean, he's one of the best young safeties in the league. Um, but yeah, you're right. He I mean, is. anytime you can stress a secondary with that kind of speed, it's it, it has the potential to hurt you. So, uh, and I think just the the knowledge of the scheme by both head coaches is just going to be really really interesting part of this chess match. I mean, you don't usually see two men who have worked alongside each other for as long as Mike McDaniel and Kyle Shanahan did in their respective careers, then face off against each other all that often. And, you know, these are two unfamiliar opponents in the Dolphins and the Niners. They, they only play once every four years, right? Unless, you know, the way the new schedule works, it could be a couple of years from now too. So it's just going to be one of those weird chess matches that I think could result in one of those lower scoring games Right. I mean, aside from the fact that the 49ers defense is really good, but all you need is a couple explosives. You know, all you need is Tyreek Hill to get loose one time, right? Jalen Waddle to get loose one time, yes. and it can end up being seven yes, points. Yes, you do. You. And that's that's yeah. the difference in that game changing speed. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.